so I'm just measuring up for a bit of lead, something I should have done a long time ago, just to go across the top of this ridge tile. And what makes this a little bit sketchy is that down this side of the roof, I've now got no scaffolding. So if I go over there, I don't know, I got about uh, a five meter drop down the roof and then another five, six meters down to the ground. So wish me luck. So there's the chimney and just to show you what I'm up against, that there is the drop over the roof with no scaffolding straight down to the road. So that'll be a lovely little fall. So after a bit of beating the lead around, it took a few minutes, but I've finally formed a little shape. And yes, I've made it myself, so all you roofers out there, this is the time for you to slate me. Get on here and tell me you should have bought a pre-welded one. This is going to leak. Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is going on top of here. I'm going to whack a few little um, lead bits in there to hold it in place, and then we're going to go over it with some lead sealant. I've just put a little strip of lead underneath, just to make sure. So I fitted that in, I've got a few lead nuggets across the top, I've held it in place. I've even put these on here, you don't really need these, but it was just to stop it flapping around in the wind. I've just cut these and trimmed them down, a little tag tucked it underneath, pulled that in place. Um, and now I'm just going to put a bit of lead sealant in the top. Right, apologies for that. I think the battery went flat at some point and then to cap that off, the camera fell down the roof that way and I managed to salvage it from my neighbor's roof just before it tipped over the edge and fell to its death. But anyway, that's that finished. So I, I beat that into place. Like I said, I put those two trims on either side there, just cut into shape. That's just to stop it flapping around because it's quite a deep piece of lead. If you get a bit of wind up here, which it is quite exposed because we're on the very top here, get a bit of wind under there, it might flap around. So anyway, that's why I've done that and I've put the lead sealant in there, gone over all the lead nuggets that I put in, so that's a nice job now, nice and secure, and that's been, um, I would say it's watertight underneath anyway, because there's lead underneath the slate, but I've done it just to run the water over the top of that ridge tile, because in time it may try to seep down behind the mortar, um, and why not, you know, while I'm up being the scaffolds up, let's get it done, do it properly. I say properly, like I said earlier, I'm sure you roofers would uh, happily like to correct me in the comments below, so feel free.